Salut, c'est Géraldine. Bienvenue sur Comme une Française TV, sound French, even to the French. As you know, I don't yet do tourist stuff on Comme une Française TV. I don't share the cutest cafes and restaurants and known bars in France and in Paris. Maybe one day, but not now. Today, if you've already seen the Eiffel Tower and the Mont Saint-Michel and are you looking for more exotic places, these are the ones I will be happy to share. You'll find links about this place below the video on communefrancaise.com as usual. Les catacombes. Let's start with a very, very famous one. Les catacombes are really worth seeing if you're visiting Paris and you're not claustrophobic or afraid of human skulls. Les catacombes, in general, les catacombes are an underground place in Paris where there used to be a quarry and now it's a big maze around below the city. During the 18th century, the city emptied the Cimetière des Saints Innocents, le Cimetière des Saints Innocents, to les catacombes and now you can visit the tiny portion of this area. We call this un ossuaire, un ossuaire, un ossuaire, a place where you keep des os, des os. We say un os, un os, des os, bones. There are around 6 million people's bones there now. It's a very special place with millions of bones carefully piled, with skulls artistically posed everywhere. As long as you don't think too much about the fact that these are real human beings, you can do hundreds of jokes. Le Palais Idéal du Facteur Cheval. Even though I don't really like Le Palais Idéal du Facteur Cheval, I couldn't not tell you about it. It's the palace of a postman called Ferdinand Cheval, who in 1879 started building a palace, stone by stone, and spent 33 years completing it. When he went to deliver the post on his bicycle, he took a few stones, put it in his bag each day and added them to his castle. He was alone and he was misunderstood, but he kept doing it and finished it in 1912. Un facteur, also called un postier, is a postman. Un facteur, un postier. Le palais idéal du facteur cheval means the ideal palace of cheval de postman. It's completely crazy with no sense of classical art whatsoever, but it's big and it's there and it's definitely worth seeing. Whether you think it's amazing or it's ugly, just go and visit it. Guédelon. Guédelon is a chateau fort, a chateau fort that currently being built using traditional methods. Yes, a real chateau fort currently being built. How awesome is that? I've been there twice already and if you live in France, I highly recommend you visit it each year as it evolves. You will see des tailleurs de pierre, des tailleurs de pierre, stonemasons, des potiers, des potiers, potters, des charpentiers, des charpentiers, carpenters, des cordiers, des cordiers, rope makers and many others, uh, bread makers, tile makers, big wood machines, horses, all this, with great explanations and animations. And you can walk around as much as you want. It's really awesome and it's my favorite place in this episode. This deserves a full day. Check the weather as well and the opening times before you go as it's closed in winter. Les machines de Nantes. This is something I discovered only this year in Nantes. On an island that used to be a shipyard, there's a big artistic project called Les Machines de Lille. Les Machines de Lille, the machines of the island. They combined uh, Jules Verne and Léonard de Vinci to create huge mechanical animals. An elephant, a birds, ants, and now a big tree with hérons, des hérons. There's also a carousel, a carousel with scary fish from the depths of the ocean. It's so beautiful and so impressive, and you can get on and in the animals. The elephant is massive and he walks around the sides and spits water. And as it's a real working project and it's changing all the time, check the opening times and the animals being built before you go. By the way, le carousel is not only for children, it's really worth it no matter how old you are. Bonus, medical museums. Are these for children? 
these are not for children. Are these frightening and weird? They are frightening and weird. Are these really messed up? They are. Um, to be honest, due to schedule reasons, I haven't been yet able to visit these, but I'm really planning to go very, very soon. The most famous medical museum is the biggest one and it's called Le Musée Fragonard. Le Musée Fragonard in Maison Alfort, just next door to Paris, with humans and animals founded in the 18th century before La Révolution. Its little brother is Le Musée du Puitrain in Paris, very famous about humans only found in the 19th century. You will see skeletons, uh, bodies in formaldehyde, body parts in the same formaldehyde, skinned anatomical figures and plenty of medical issues. It's weird, but I think it's fascinating, but it's very weird. <laughs> Et toi, did you know these places? Which one have you visited? Do you have other similar strange and secret places to share with the community? We can use the comment area as our own trip advisor for secret places we like. Share your experience in French if you dare in the comments below the video. We can all learn from your story. The comment section on communfrances.com is the best place to stir discussions and ask questions. If you like this video on weird and surprising places in France, share it with your friends on YouTube, Facebook, Twitter, Pinterest and any other way. Help me spread the word about Commune Française. Merci. Love France, dream of sounding French even to the French. Learn how with me, Géraldine, on communefrances.com and subscribe to my email updates for exclusive tips on real life in France every Tuesday, plus an exclusive video lesson, introduce yourself in French. And it's free. Merci for watching Commune Française TV, sound French even to the French. Allez, salut.